Before you're able to actually start framing your house, you're going to need to have a design. It took me quite a while to come up with a design, and I'm going to do some videos on that process later. But we're going to go ahead and skip ahead to the part where I've already finished the design and started building. I started out with an old trailer. It was a travel trailer that I bought for $100, fixed it up, and got it ready for framing. Once it was ready, I gathered up the tools, materials, and started building. So framing up a tiny house isn't too much different than a full-size house, except for variances in dimensions of lumber and so forth, mainly just the scale of everything. I nailed together the subflooring uh, framework with a nail gun first and then went back in with screws. As you can see here, I've got the windows all laid out on the subfloor and some 2x4 sort of marking out the different uh, interior design. And um, all of this was sort of during the design process, I call it sort of an active design process where you're designing and building at the same time. I was lucky that the travel trailer had a full size sheet of aluminum underneath the entire structure, so I reused that on my tiny house underneath the subflooring. You can see in this picture where I patched up all the holes with foil tape and flashing. I insulated the floor with R13 fiberglass insulation and used 7 16 OSB as the actual subfloor sheathing. By now I had finished up my windows and I had them all laid out, designed, and built the walls down flat on the subflooring. Once each wall section is complete, you just tilt them up into place and screw them down to the subflooring. You're going to want to make sure your trailer is nice and level so that when you go to connect each wall section, they are all square and plumb. Once work downstairs was complete, I moved upstairs. The upstairs work consisted of framing the loft floor, the walls where the loft windows would be mounted, the ridge beam, and the rafters. The rafters are 2x4s and the ridge beam is a 2x6. It's actually two 2x6s joined together to make the full length. To temporarily hold the ridge beam in place, you prop it up using some 2x4 material and then start attaching the rafters and then that's what actually makes sure that it is held dead center down the middle of the house. And here's my lovely little girlfriend employing her leg holding technique using the jigsaw to cut out the bird's mouths, which are the part of the rafters that fit over top the top plate on the top of the wall. And here's some shots of the framing once it was completed. It's about 99% done, the 2x4 type framing. Of course, there was more work, but this shows you the gist of it. Um, I really like it in this stage, the way it looks. It looks like a toy, a little model of a house, not so much an actual little house. And this wasn't so much supposed to be a how to frame it, just a uh, video just showing my process. That's one of my pictures I like. It was up on the peak of the roof during construction. Right after I got finished, it was a hurricane, so I just wrapped the whole house up. And then after the hurricane was over, I put the sheathing on the outside. There's some interior shots just for those of you who'd like to see them. You can pause these and look at them more closely if you'd like. It's up in the loft area. That was kind of fun working up in there. That's a top plate filling in between the rafters. A little wall up in the loft. And that's how I filled in between the rafters where the rafter tails stuck out. And then that's the framing for the loft above the porch. And to keep you all intrigued, I wanted to show you some uh, more recent photos of progress. Um, I won't explain things too much. I'll just kind of let them go. And in the upcoming videos, I'll sort of tell you more about what these were. I've got a lot of videos coming up, and the videos are going to get more detailed. I wasn't planning on doing videos early on, so I was just taking a couple of photos. But as progress has moved forward and I had my other channel going, I decided that this was a lot of good content that I didn't want to ignore and I thought people would be interested in it. So, tune back in for more videos on progress. Just check back every week or so, and I should be posting a video. I'm trying to get one up every week, but it um, could be every two weeks or more on occasion. Well, that wraps up things for today's video. I'm glad you tuned in and stayed with me this long. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, and you will get updates when I post future videos. You can give them a thumbs up, comments, and ask questions and all that. You can also see me on Facebook where I'll post pictures and other updates. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.